sure. So yeah, so this was something that was leaked. It was not approved by by, by me. I never saw saw that. Uh, it is um, they're going back to the drawing board. Talk to your local communities. Here's the thing, I'd rather not spend any money on this, right? I mean, if people don't want improvements, then don't do it. Um, and so that'll be something that citizens can be able to do. They're not doing anything this year. They're going to go back and basically listen uh, to folks. A lot of that stuff was just half baked and it was not ready for prime time when it was, and it was intentionally leaked out to a left wing group to try to create a narrative. Um, you know, we've, since I've been governor, we've added over a quarter of a million acres to conservation land. We established a Florida wildlife corridor. So we've done a lot of stuff. And on the state parks, uh, you know, if there does need to be improvements, we're not going to take away any green space. You know, we're going to, we have an existing footprint and you do. But I, I mean, if we do nothing, then that's fine with me. Now, the one issue of the folds of honor. So first of all, we're not getting into the golf course business in the state of Florida, but we had one charity, Folds of Honor, uh, which uses golf to be able to raise money to support uh, the families of fallen service members and injured service members with scholarships. And they also do that for first responders, those killed in the line of duty and those injured in the line of duty. Um, and so they had a proposal. It wasn't approved yet. There was a lot of vetting that needed to be due uh, to take uh, this abandoned military base um, in Martin County, uh, convert it into something that can be really nice, uh, that would make the general public be able to afford uh, doing it, because this stuff can be expensive, and then take the proceeds and use that to fund the scholarships for the military families and for the first responder families. But that is what they're doing. It wasn't like they were going to make a lot of money. Now, they're not in the business of courting all the controversy. So people down there, a lot of them were upset about it. Some was misrepresented as if they were going to try to take away all this uh, unspoiled land. No, there was a, almost a 1,000 buildings on that base back in the day. Uh, there's still some of the remnants of it. But be that as it may, uh, they, they've withdrawn uh, that proposal. Uh, that was the only thing we were interested in just because it had the connection uh, to the military stuff. So, uh, so, so that, that's done. Now... Folds of Honor, I think they've done a lot of good work. And so it's not going to work in a state park. And it may not work anywhere in Florida where you're getting new land and kind of doing it. But what I think they could potentially do is take some of the existing courses that have been run down or abandoned, uh, raise a bunch of money, make it something nice, and then use that to help military and first responders. We saw an example of that in West Palm Beach. So they had an old municipal course that had basically closed because it just didn't have support, it wasn't financially viable, so the city closed it. So you had a group of guys in, in Palm Beach area, they raised $50 million, uh, they sunk it in, created a whole new course, they have like a nine hole lighted thing, a driving range, they have all these programs for youth, they have really low rates for local residents, because let's face it, people talk about Florida having a lot of golf courses, most of those are private courses. You know, if you're a police officer or you're a teacher, you're not necessarily being able to go to a lot of those places. And so what they've done is those local residents, they don't have to break the bank, and the kids are now involved in it. Uh, and it's become like a community place, and they call it the park at West Palm. Uh, now, that required a lot of, lot of resources, and it wasn't government money. They raised it. But that is a really, really good model. And if you can replicate that, uh, I think it would be really, really good. So, so maybe if that group found a found a facility that was run down and rehabbed it you know that may that may be something that that would work out uh, but I'm definitely somebody that wants to be able to provide opportunities for for kids that may not be able to afford all kinds of outdoor recreation all kinds of sports and just rank and file members of the general public I mean you ought to enjoy uh, all these different facets of life without having to break the bank and I think one of the things is just as a parent with kids and, and families around the state, there are things that are just very expensive now. Uh, if you look at the parks and some of these other things. And so I think what they did in West Palm was, was really, really impressive. I don't think there's been anything like that anywhere in the country uh, that, is, that has met that degree of success. But that was not government money. That was a bunch of people that raised a lot of money and they made the economics work because they did it and you're saying another. Governor, given you called this idea half-baked and not ready for prime time, are you gonna do some more oversight on that office to find out how these plans are happening and how they're getting to the point? Is so it, it's my understanding, so there's some of these things like people have requested 
um, improvements uh, for different things. Some of the campsites, all these things. Like, look, as governor, I'm not refereeing how big this campsite is or that. I mean, it's just not uh, th things that I've been getting involved in. Um, but this was done intentionally, given to a very left-wing group to try to create a narrative that somehow, you know, the state park's going to become a big parking lot or something like that. That's obviously a phony narrative uh, and was never true to begin with. But enough, nothing has been approved, and they are going to go back and, and listen to folks. And as I said, as, as governor, I am totally fine to just do nothing and do no improvements if that's what the, the general public wants, and that's fine with me. Governor, what was your April 10th meeting with Bill Dunn about? Uh, so they talked about potentially doing something in the state of Florida where you had um, – they were going to honor the Tuskegee Airmen uh, with a facility, and they were kind of in the, the, the stages of, of developing some ideas along the lines, uh, and then helping the military families and helping the families of first responders. I think they've given a lot of money over the years. Of course, they have operations throughout the country uh, where they've given millions and millions of dollars uh, to fallen, the, the fam, spouses and fam, dependents of fallen service members, injured service members, and then they've recently expanded that into first responders. And so those are the types of things that we've worked awful hard on in the state of Florida, and if we can leverage some of these resources to do it, um, you know, that, that could have big benefits for the state. Now, not going to happen at the Camp Murphy site and Jonathan Dickinson, but maybe they will be able to find a site, maybe an existing course where they can rehab show it some love. They're going to have to raise a lot of money. And, and even what they were proposing at Camp Murphy, the, the state was not going to give any money. They were going to have to raise tens of millions of dollars to do it. I don't know if that was ever even feasible. Uh, but the economics of this can be very tough. And so you, you need to be able to raise that resources if you want to be able to offer something to the public that doesn't break the bank. West Palm did it. But West Palm also has access to all those people living across the bridge on Palm Beach who can write big checks. We don't necessarily have that um, in every part of this state or every part of